Yo, what's up, y'all? We back. I'm Kyle Alexander. And I'm Michelle Lee. And this is the KM Book, Book Club. Club. What up? So today, like we told you in the last episode, we are reviewing I Declare by Joel Osteen. Ooh. I declare Ooh. that this is about to be a dope episode. KMBC is a book review of all the books that we have read Everything. for the year of 2017 mm -hmm. and we are still reading. So what we're trying to give you guys... Still going strong. <laughs> what we're trying to give you guys is the highlights, the lowlights, yeah. the takeaways, what mm -hmm. we liked, what we didn't like. What we hated. We hate too much. But if we hate it, we tell you. We we will tell you. And just to, you know, be insightful, let you guys know what we doing mm -hmm. and what's out there to read. That's good. Yeah. Before we go any further, give them the PSA, babe. <laughs> so this is not relationship advice no. at all. We're not pastors, prophets, reverends, oh, deacons. Right. They need to know who we not so they can see who we are. Everything is. Okay. Maybe everything I am. <laughs> See, look how you flourishing with your hip hop card back. I be studying. You flourishing, got your hip hop card back. You shining now. Let's hit them with the rating system. Mm -hmm. We have a rating system that's I'm, I'm one to it. five. I'm gonna do it this time, and you do all the, the things. We got a rating system that's one to five. <laughs> um, one being the worst, five being the best, and number one is. <coughs> <coughs> Number two is Number two is Burly as in we burly me. <laughs> Number three is You see me trying. I, I see you trying. <laughs> Number three is <laughs> Number three is basic cable. Number four is <laughs> Number four is lucked up. Lucked up. And number five is See, this is why we don't do it like this. Number five is change your life. Like how you be trying to change up. <laughs> is that is that the how order. you is that how you want to <laughs> that the energy you want to give that that the e you want to give? Well, you changing up everything else. Change your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So, I declare by Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen is a pastor. And he's the pastor of what? Lakewood. Lakewood. That church is awesome. Even though I've never visited, have you visited? Uh, I saw Joe Osteen when he came to Philly for the Night of Hope. Oh. Huh. How yeah. was that? It was great, actually. Got a lot of hope. Okay. No, it was dope though. Joe did his thing, and then and then Pastor shout out to Pastor Joe went on stage and gave a word of encouragement to the people. I like that. The reason why we chose this book. Our church did a fast in January, and this was one of the books that we were to read. Now, this book is a lot different than a regular book because it's 31 promises to speak over your life, which means it you can read it over a span of 31 days. So it's pretty much a devotional. What's great about it is the fact that we've read this book and are currently reading this book maybe like nine, mm -mm. 10? Mm -mm. More than that, we read it a lot. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose the book? I'm excited about this book. Um, I chose the book because it, it just talks about the promises to speak over your life. And I, I wanted to see what they were, honestly. And I know Joel is really positive and really encouraging. So I knew if, if, if it was 31 promises to speak over my life, it was trying to give me declarations. I knew I wanted to be a part of it. I knew I wanted to see how speaking the word every day would change things for me and honestly it's just good to start with something positive in the morning so much negativity so many corny things going on it's just dope to start with something positive something uplifting something encouraging very very true expectation versus reality i expected it to be really really positive and uplifting and because that's just joel like if you watch his sermons he's always positive he's always uplifting he's always giving you like a word of encouragement like right when you need it he's always picking you back up and you feel like you fell down so that that's what I expected from the book and honestly that's literally what I got. Like, Even Joel's face is positive. Do y'all see this picture? Well you gotta be He's just a positive man. Showing all his teeth. He's just positive. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because it gives you something positive every single day. And because it's thirty one, some obviously some days in the month some months have thirty one days, so you can read it every single day. 
Yeah, and yeah. that was dope for me. What were you? Uh, my expectations versus reality. With this and because we were reading it together, <clears throat> which was something that definitely holds me accountable, we got all the way through it and 14, 13 more times after that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely been a good book. So my expectations have well been exceeded just for the simple fact that we were consistent with it highlights for me was um so when you go into this book and start the book the book has the declarations which i would say is about between like five sentences and eight sentences long the entire declaration for the day so it's like a little paragraph that you mm -hmm. read and it's like you declare 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 this is my declaration which is kind of like the amen to each declaration then after that he gives stories which are about like three or four pages long mm -hmm. at the at the max at the max the three or four pages long and it's just giving you an example of why what you're declaring why it's important the importance behind it and how that declaration helped that situation or that mm -hmm. story low lights it would have been nice to I guess because we read it over and over and over again, which has its advantages and disadvantages that we'll discuss in a little bit. I don't know, I kind of wanted more, but all we did was read it over again, which was good because every time we read it over again, there was always something new. I guess I'm kind of like teetering if there's low lights or hmm. not. The highlights for me is that, that it was something positive to read every day. Uh, we read it together, we would read it in the morning. Uh, and it's a really great way to start your day. Like before you um, deal with like crazy customers or uh, rude employees or anything like that, you, you kind of set the tone for your day by reading that. I would have liked it to be a little more introspective because the stories that were told weren't necessarily Joe's stories. It was always like somebody else or a man walking or yeah. a boy went down <clears throat> the street and saw that they, they weren't like, I, this ha I think one or two were, were his, but I mean, there's 31. So you, I, I, that's what I thought. I wanted to hear more about his stories and how the declarations helped him get through. Declaring over and over again through these 31, dec um, 31 daily devotions or declarations almost is, is becoming second nature. Yeah. So I, I loved that. That it was almost like we were memor we were memorizing it accidentally. And then over time, as we read it, things just got. It wasn't like the situations that we dealt with got easier, but we got stronger. Right. Like you're declaring every day, uh, God's opening doors no man can shut. You're declaring um, Ephesians three twenty over your life. Um, <laughs> that he said that's that one, literally like five or one of the times. declarations. Yeah. But I mean, you're, but you're declaring positive things in spite of what the day may look like, and sometimes your day. It starts off bad at like six o'clock in the morning before you even read the devotional but you're you're saying in spite of the day in spite of what it looks like in spite of how i feel i'm going to get up uh and i'm going to declare and i'm going to read this devotional um believing that god is going to change and, and you're speaking the word and speaking positive affirmations i mean your life has no choice but to line up with what you're saying because your words are seeds i'm telling you we would read this and the declaration for the day would be so on time i mean you had a you had a situation like a while ago not not too long ago a couple weeks ago where it was a co-worker that did something you didn't like and it was like literally like thank you god that i walk in love with my co-workers or something along those lines like... but it's literally speaking directly <laughs> to what you're dealing with right or like a family issue and now it's like I, I believe the best and no matter what i see like work was crazy at one point in time for me and she would call and read something it was like uh, I'm going to tell God, I'm, I'm not going to tell God how big my problem is. I'm going to tell my problem how big my God is. And it was mm -hmm. like, I'm facing like this huge problem at work. And it was like, you know what? That, that just gave me proper perspective on it, which was really, really dope. That's definitely, there's a lot of meat and potatoes to this book. Mm -hmm. um, and it's short and sweet every day. So let's get into the rating system. Let's get it. <laughs> I declare that you will not judge me. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, three. Oh my goodness! I swear I be thinking we gonna be on one on the same page, and never. I thought so too. Why would it be basic cable? We still read the book. 
Like I said, like the stories were not of Joel. That was Explain basically Explain yourself, fool. Like it wasn't it wasn't like introspective. It was like you're telling me about this book, but you're not telling me like personal stories that you went through to form these declarations. It was like, did these declarations come out of like like a hard experience? Did they come out of you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, we are still gonna read it because it's a it's a dope like the declarations are dope. I guess I, I'm saying the basic part of it was like the stories behind it. Like the stories were cool, but sometimes the stories felt like they're made up. Parables. This is my rating. This is my rating world right here. You, Don't you judge me. In your world. Don't judge. Well, mm. let's talk about yours. Why'd you give it five? Well, I gave it a change. Yo, life. Oh, you do know how to do that. There it is. Yes, I do. Huh. When it's mine. Hmm. I gave it a change of life one because we read this book Monday through Friday every morning. It sets the tone for our day. There have been days where you've actually called me after the days are, are both of our work days have already started and been like, hey, we still need to declare. Can't take it back now. There's no rule that says you can't change your rating. Yes, it is. Where? Where do you see the rule? Just because it's a dry eraser is already been written. I would say it's a life changer because because we read it over and over again that everything is beginning to stick mm -hmm. and we're retaining what we're reading. It's getting into our subconscious. That's how it feels. Hmm. That's like the best way that I can. Those are good points. That's why I love this book, and that's why I said it's a change your life. You still my homie, Which Joel. is a valid reason to say change your life. Anyway, we've given you guys the rating system. We've given you guys the highs and the lows and the goods and the bads and the pretties and the uglies. And the basics. And, which is not this book. Can't you agree? So, I now, did like it, though. I did. I, really, I know you like it. You the still declarations, read it. The declarations are dope. The declarations are very, very, very Oh, very side dope. note. This is not why I read this book. I ain't gotta go all the way back to the front. The reason why I read this book, cause you, you turned the pages. Your mom and dad gave me this book for my 28th birthday. Aww. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Steve. So that's why we read the book. Yes, happy 28th birthday. Love, Mr. and Mrs. Steve. Aww. Thank you, mom and papa Steve. Because my mom and dad gave her the book, it's a five now. It's a five. Oh, don't even. You was looking for a little... No. So, we will catch you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below if you read the book, if you're reading the book, or any of the previous books that we reviewed. Let us know what you think. Let us know how it made you feel. Let us know what your review on it is. Please. Why? Oh, and then, oh, this is, says KM rating. This is our group rating now. Uh, if you want us to review any of the books that you may have written or you're, you're reading, you thought it was a dope book, email us at watchkmbc at gmail.com. Uh, go back to the first video. Check our rating system. Check our, um, our topics and our, our content list. Right. So it has to fit in one of those five categories. If it does and we like it, We'll review we'll it. We'll read it. Thank you guys again. Yeah. Have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. I mean, if you want to send us a little, like, Christmas gift or anything, you can also send that to the cam. Watch cam. We take cash DC. at PayPal. Give him a big smile, baby. Just have a happy holiday. Enjoy you. Enjoy your family. Enjoy this video. Enjoy this book that I rated a five. Boom. The next book we're reading is Imagine yeah, by this Steve is the next Turner. Review. So for everybody out here who is um, any kind of creative, this book is going to definitely, definitely challenge and change your thinking. It's a dope, dope read. Yeah. So Crazy. So definitely stay tuned for this one. Tune we open it up 2019. With a bang. A, a whole entire bang. Yeah. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year! I was gonna wait until New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's yeah. They won't see us until after New Year's. Happy New Year! Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I'm Kyle Alexander, and I'm Michelle Lee. All right, y'all.